What do winter sports and the flu have in common? They're both in season, and there are a few things athletes hate more than getting sick. Let's see what Health Services has to say about athletes with the sniffles. While I ask students when they come in as patients whether or not they're an athlete, I don't, in my data keeping, I don't separate out athletes from non-athletes because um, you're all students first. I don't think there's any more or less um, times that athletes are seen in health services. The things that would be specific to athletes, um, we're very fortunate that we have a really great athletic training department. So the injuries that would be specific to athletes that other students, non-athletes, might bring to health services are seen in the athletic training department. Um, certainly if there's something contagious, um, be it a skin infection or another kind of infection that we wouldn't want the athlete to share with other members of the team um, or other students, then we recommend that they don't um, play or practice with their team. Um, but routine illness like colds, um, if athletes didn't participate in their sport during cold season, there would be a lot of athletes not participating. The most important thing you can do is wash your hands. The next best thing to do is don't share anything. Don't share food, don't share drinks. Then the other, you know, healthy choices that you can make. Get enough sleep, uh, eat right, manage stress in your life. Athletes might have an advantage there in that they're very active. Um, particularly during their season and physical activity is a great way to manage stress. Remember Health Services is here as a resource. Even if you don't seek care here, we maintain a huge referral network in the community um, so that the, we you know, provide options for care.